Okay, so Junior Roberts here again. We're on to question three of the January 2020 CSEC physics pass paper. So, yeah, I've done, I've done questions one and two in earlier videos, and links to those videos will be in the description below. So let's go on into question three. So, first thing I want us to do here in question three is to define uh, the term linear momentum. Right, so we're gonna write that this is linear moment with linear momentum. That is, so we're gonna say this is this is the product product of mass and velocity of an object. Right, so essentially we're saying that linear momentum is the mass multiplied by the velocity of that object. Now, next thing they want us to do is to state the SI unit for linear momentum. So SI unit for momentum is equal to SI unit is equal to the kilogram meters per second. Right, since we're multiplying mass and velocity, I know SI unit for mass is kilogram. SI unit for velocity is meters per second, so it's kilogram meters per second, or written another way, it's the kilogram meters per second, right? And in some cases, we can even write it as the Newton second, right? So any th one of these would be our Kirk unit. Next thing they want us to do is to state the law of conservation of linear momentum. So... This law states that, so this law states that for an isolated system, right, isolated or we can say a closed system, the sum of the momentum of the system system before collision is equal to to the sum of the momentum of the system after collision right so what this law is saying that the law of the conservation of momentum is saying that if we have an isolated system right that is uh, free of any external influence the sum of the momentum of that system is equal to the sum of well the sum of the momentum of that system before collision is equal to the sum of the momentum of that same system after the collision. So that's the law of conservation of momentum. Now let's move on. Now this question is says state two real life examples that demonstrate the conservation of momentum. So one uh, clinical or one classical example, right, is billiard balls. Billiard balls, right, striking each other. So you can say striking each other. Right? And another example, right, which we can talk about is uh we can say gas molecules colliding with each other. Right, so these are two examples of uh, linear, uh, these are two real life examples of the conservation of linear momentum. Now let's move on and see what the question is wants us to do. So the question is, says, trolley A and trolley B collided head on. Trolley A has a mass of 72 kg and was moving towards the west at 5 meters per second, while trolley B of mass 69.4 kg 
was moving toward the east with uh, a velocity of 4.5 meters per second. Now the question wants us to calculate the initial momentum of trolley A. Alright, so we're going to say that momentum, since momentum is a product of mass and velocity, we're going to write that momentum P, P is a symbol for momentum, is equal to M of trolley A. So we can say MA, right, which represents trolley A, multiplied by the velocity of trolley A, which we can call V. A. Alright, now the mass of Charlie A is 72 kilograms, so we say 72 kilograms, right, multiplied by the velocity of Charlie A, which is 5.5 .5 meters per second, so we'll say 5.5 .5 meters per second. Alright, now if we take out our calculator, alright, and we say And we say 72 multiplied by 5.5, all right, we get an answer of 396 kilogram meters per second. So we will have 396 kilogram meters per second, all right, and uh, we were told that the trolley A was moving towards the west, so therefore, since momentum is a vector quantity, this here will be your magnitude, and the direction will be to the west. Right? Now, if we go further, question A says we are to calculate the initial momentum of trolley B. So, again, we know that momentum P is equal to mass, right? In this case, mass of B multiply by the velocity of B, right? Now, the mass of trolley B, we were told, is 69.4 kilograms. 69.4 kilograms. And the velocity that it was moving with was 4.5 meters per second to the east. So, 4.5 meters per second. Right now, again, we're going to take our calculator and we'll simply say 69.4 multiplied by 4.5, and that gives us an answer of 312.3 312.3 kilograms meters per second. And again, surely B was traveling to the east. Right, so the momentum will be 312.3 kilogram meters per second to the east. Now, question here says, assuming the trolleys locked during the collision and they moved off together in one direction, determine the speed and the direction of the joined trolleys immediately after the collision. Right, so to do this, we will need to take into consideration both initial momentums of trolley A and trolley B, right? Now, we will apply the formula for the conservation of linear momentum, and in this case, we'll be looking at an inelastic collision, right? Because we were told that the objects, they collided, right? They collided and they locked during the collision and moved off together, right? So we're going to look at an inelastic collision. So the formula we will use, first of all, we say that the momentum before is equal to the momentum after, right? Now, the momentum before is given as M1, right, times U1, which is the mass of object 1 times the initial velocity of object 1 plus the mass of object 2 multiplied by the initial velocity of object 2, right? And that is equal to the mass of object 1 plus the mass of object 2 multiplied by a common velocity, right? Which both uh, objects after collision will move off with. Now, in our case, we know that M1 is actually the mass of trolley A and U1 is the velocity of trolley A and M2 is the mass of trolley 2, and U2 is the 
initial velocity, velocity of trolley 2. Right, and if we take the sum of all this, we will get the momentum before. Now we had collect we had, now, now we had calculated the momentum of trolley A and B before. So we're gonna take those two as our initial momentum. So this is the initial momentum of trolley A and this is the initial momentum of trolley B. Right? So <coughs> what we'll have is uh first of all before we actually go there, we will have the two trolleys. So what we have in, so what we would have incidentally is we will have this trolley here, let us say this is our trolley. Right? And this would be traveling to the west. So it will be going this way. Right? And then we'll have this trolley here. Right? And this trolley will be traveling to the east. Right? So what we'll have here is that both trolleys will encounter an head-on collision right so if we take our forward or from traveling to the east as positive and traveling to the west as negative we will have the mass momentum of trolley a would be 396 kilogram meters per second and it's traveling to the west so take it as minus 396 kilograms meters per second plus the momentum initial momentum of trolley b is 312.3 kilogram meters per second and, that, and that's to the east so it will be positive so 312.3 kilograms meters per second and that is equal to M1, which is the mass of trolley A, plus the mass of trolley B. So the mass of trolley A again was 72 kilograms, 72 kilogram, and 69.4 kilograms, right? And they will move off with a common velocity, right? Which you can call v so working out this portion of the equation we will have let me get out the calculator here we will have minus minus 396 plus 312.3 all right and that will give us an answer of minus 83.7 so we'll have minus 83.7 kilograms meters per second and that is equal to 72 plus 69.4 all right so 72 plus 69.4 and that is 141.4 kilograms times big v all right now in order for us to actually determine what V is, we can simply transpose our expression and make V the subject. So we'll do that by simply dividing both sides by 141.4 kilograms. Right? So we'll divide this one by 141.4 kilograms. Right? So V then now would be equal to, again we'll use our calculator, and we'll say negative... 83.7 divided by 141.4 and that gives us an answer of minus 0 0.59 uh, meters per second so minus 0 0.59 meters per second right so therefore our velocity v would be equal to 0 0.59 meters per second and since we take negative as west therefore means then that the trolleys will be moving with a velocity of 0 0.59 meters per second to the west right and this all makes sense here because we have two objects that are colliding right object a our trolley a had the greater momentum and it was going to the west because if we look at both moment momentums here 
trolley A had a momentum of 396, while trolley B had a momentum of 312. Right, so therefore, upon colliding, they're and they stick together, they're going to move off in the direction of the object with the greater momentum. In this case, uh, trolley A, which was moving to the west. Right, so therefore, our answer will be 0 0.59 meters per second to the west. So again, this was Junior Roberts coming to you with real juniorroberts.com. If there was anything in this video that you wish to get further clarification on, please post it below in comments and I'll do my best to clear up any misconceptions for you. Like this video if it was helpful and click subscribe on the bell notification so you'll never miss any of my new videos. Thank you for watching.